Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I Last week I shared with you guys that I'm pregnant and I shared with you guys how we found out. So going along with that, I decided to um, do a pregnancy Q&A, which I shared a photo on Instagram and asked you guys if you had any questions for me about this pregnancy or anything along going along with that, with Mila, whatever. Um, so got some questions and I'm going to answer them for you all here and we're just gonna jump right in. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Is your pregnancy different this time than with Mila? My pregnancy is different with Mila. I had a smooth ride pretty much the whole time. I would get nauseous here and there, but if I ate something I was fine, I could pretty much continue eating whatever I wanted. This time has been a lot more difficult because up until probably like two weeks ago and I'm, that was about 14 weeks pregnant, I was nauseous all the time. And with Mila, like I said, I could eat something and it'd be gone. But this time I was just so, oh, I was so sick. But trying to eat things not to, to make it not worse but it lasted all day. Also, like when I was pregnant with Mila, I'd be able to come home from work and I'd be really tired, especially like the first trimester, and I'd have to take a nap. That's kind of how I knew I was pregnant with, with her too. I was like, mm. I never had to take naps before, but um, now I can't nap because I have Mila. So that is very difficult. But yeah, next question. Next question is, are you nervous to go from one to two? I am. I'm excited and this is what I wanted, but I am also nervous because it's a lot of work. <laughs> it is a lot of work. So, and I know Mila will probably have the tendency to be more jealous. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, the next question. Uh, will you name him or her after me again? I'll let you think that. This is one of my friends asking. She's so silly. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I'll, I'll name the next one. I'll put you in there somewhere. <laughs> How do you feel about working out while pregnant? With Mila, I worked out pretty much my whole pregnancy up until I got in the hospital. Uh, I was even running up and down the stairs because I was trying to do everything to get the baby out. And it just made me feel better. Every day that I worked out, um, especially in the beginning, it just made me feel better and like I could get through the day. And um, with this one, it was harder. Thankfully, it was over Christmas break, so I didn't have... Um, I had a little break in there when it was the worst, when my nauseousness was the worst. Um, to not have to teach my classes at the gym at Evolve. Um, but when I went back and started being able to teach, like it would make me feel a little bit better. So that helped me to get through it and um, continue working out. And just eventually, like I just feel better after working out. I just feel like I have more energy and it just makes me feel better overall. I do. Um, modify my exercises so that I don't um, do anything with baby. Everything is um, my doctor has approved. I plan on working out up until I have this baby, Lord willing. So I'm excited. How do you feel about being pregnant the second time? Weird. It feels very strange. Um, I wasn't really expecting it so soon, so I didn't really get to. I guess prepare my mind I don't know but either way I was excited because that's what I wanted not this soon in my plans obviously the Lord had different plans but um, I'm thankful that I am being able to be pregnant a second time and 
uh, I feel it felt weird because I'm like oh am I really doing this all over again <laughs> I feel like everything goes so much faster because well number one you have already done it so it's not like as you're not like looking up everything or checking like oh my gosh what's happening today what's going on with the baby today this time I am more busy and I have Mila um, running around and trying to run after. It is a little harder to focus on this pregnancy. Excited and weird. That's what it is. Next question is, what do you think you would like to do differently in this pregnancy? Well, um, like I said with Mila, I haven't really been able to focus on this pregnancy as much as I did when I was pregnant with Mila. Um, just because of the busyness of our lives and we just moved and so that's another thing um, so it's just been crazy busy which I kind of like because it makes the time go faster but what I would do differently is I'm going to try to have a natural delivery instead of a c-section this time um, so we'll see how that goes we'll see if the Lord allows so next one do you have food cravings not really i pretty much well actually just recently i started craving um chocolate covered strawberries and that might have just been in lieu of seeing strawberries during valentine's and stuff like that i have more so food aversions earlier in my first trimester i was feeding mila a chicken salad sandwich and she took like two bites of it and i had to throw it away because i was like i'm going to throw up like at the smell of this at the look of this like everything so i could throw it away and make her like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich it's just oh how far along are you i am currently i'm 16 weeks did you two get jiggy for this to happen or is it a magical birth it's totally a magical birth <laughs> what are you looking forward to the most of having two kids i'm looking forward to seeing how mila is with this one and when the baby gets a little older, then they can start playing together, and I'm really looking forward to Mila having a sibling. What are you looking forward to the least? My sleep, oh my gosh. Like, those first couple weeks, especially when the baby has to eat, like, all the time. You are so tired, you have to wake up all the time. Ugh, I'm gonna miss my sleep. I really am. That's the hardest thing. But the thing is, you're like, oh, I love you so much. You're on cloud nine, especially um, in those first few weeks. You're, you have a new baby. Everything's new, but that is very difficult. How many more do you want? I personally would like a total of four. Um, I said five at first. Kyle used to say seven, and then he went down to about three, so I'm like, okay, I'll compromise to four. So, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and the last one. What is your best tip for morning sickness? <sighs> that was rough, because it, this, this one was like my first time really experiencing it, um, but my one of my closest friends, Rhett, thank you, Rhett, she um, saved me and got me ginger and so that I can make ginger tea and I think that was the best thing that I had because not like the ginger tea that's already like in the packets I feel like that didn't do as good of a job as like the actual ginger that you peel boil it make your own ginger tea that helped a ton I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A if you guys didn't get to ask me questions or want to know anything just comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you please like, subscribe, comment, everything. Peace and love, guys. Bye.